This is an example of PowerShell's for each construct. Here I'm using the get service command to put all the services into the variable services. Then the for each command. In parentheses, I provide a new variable, one that I'm just making up right this moment, that I want to contain one object at a time. Follow that with the keyword in, and then the variable that contains one or more objects. The purpose of this construct is to take one thing out of here at a time and put it in here. Within the construct, this variable will contain one thing at a time. I can then use a period, in the case, this case, to access the stop member or method of that one object. This is useful when you have a bunch of things and you need to do one action to each of them. However, you need to be careful. Anytime you see yourself using for each, there's a chance that you've sort of fallen into a, a programming style approach. For example, wouldn't it be easier to accomplish this exact same task that way? In many cases, if there's a batch commandlet available that can work with multiple objects, all you need to do is get them and pipe them along the line. If you find yourself using for each, there's nothing wrong with that, but you're, you might be working a little harder than you need to. PowerShell might already be able to do that using one of its existing commands.